Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and we have a pretty good day going on thanks to cryptocurrency. The month has been phenomenal as well. Today is a video that you don't want to miss and you definitely want to watch the full thing because we're going to be going over five different swing trades that I'm currently loading up on on basically stocks that are at their market price stocks that are currently ready to buy at so if you appreciate videos like this just stop right now it only takes one second out of your day press the like button hit subscribe on youtube if you're not subscribed already and if you always watch my full length videos and support my channel as well let's get right into it let's not waste any time though and let's go into a little bit deeper into these videos as well on some reasonings why too so the first one up is roku ticker symbol r-o-k-u down 17 percent in the last month so it's down a significant amount done 22 percent in the last three months and if you look at the year chart it looks like it's currently at a support this is going to be a great swing trade in my opinion in my opinion this will be over 400 dollars a share once again and if we go to the five year chart we saw a big resistance right around 150 dollars obviously that's old news it's definitely not going to be going down that low but 250 dollars is definitely an option at the resistance earlier this last year actually november 16th and i think that this is going to be a good longer term swing trade probably anywhere from three to six months for to see a 400 dollars roku once again as you can see i've even started loading up a position 1.7 shares market value is right around 500 dollars per share and obviously you can read a little bit about them everyone pretty much already knows or should know roku it's a pretty well known household name we also see the market caps 37 billion so the question is how much larger can it get pe ratio is already sky high volume isn't as actively traded as some other stocks so let's dive into it other than it being at a 52 week support basically and a 52 week low why should we be looking at roku so first off if we go to my analyst estimator here this is a nice app by the way a lot of people ask me what app this is it costs $300 a year, $350 a year to get these analyst projections. It's called Tip Ranks. It's one of the top recommended um, apps for stock investors. It's pretty well known. Um, as you can see, the analysts are projecting a 51% upside over the next 12 months. And I think we can see that over the next six months, in my personal opinion. Now, we also see the analysts have a strong buy. We see that these price targets were just reiterated 11 days ago by all five-star analysts and a top 25 analyst too. So you'll be hard-pressed to see all five-star analysts going to town on this stock and all putting above $400 buying price points. And they also just reiterated this only 11 days ago. You can also click in and see what kind of success he's had in the past. Um, out of 7,000 analysts on tip ranks, He's number 20, okay? Success rate, 75% out of 200, 245 were successful out of 329, and he has an average return of 46% per year. So this is Roku is a stock that a lot of analysts are getting in on. They're reiterating their price targets just recently. It has a, only a smart score of five, which is pretty irrelevant. But if you scroll down, I like to see down here, you can, we already went over the analysts are strong by um, blogger opinions are super bullish as well. But what's interesting is the hedge funds actually decreased their shares. All right. But this was in the last quarter, keep in mind. But if we pull up our chart, we remember in the last quarter, which is the last three months, roku was pretty high so that's a chance that a lot of the insiders already lowered their position because they knew it was going to be going under 300 dollars per share so they could have been selling at two uh three 350 or even higher at these peaks here so that is nothing to worry about as well hedge funds have decreased by a quarter million shares last quarter that's interesting to look at and I like to look at that stuff as well. So if we read some summaries of some articles, you'll see the secular trend towards streaming and connected TVs continues to place Roku in a strong competitive position. The recent developments surrounding YouTube and Roku are not as significant to the platform as Wall Street expects. The streaming industry future total addressable market can include Roku alongside comp competitors. One interesting metric that we should be looking for 
to understand Roku, how many TVs will be sold this holiday season. So that is something great to think about because a lot of the Rokus are pre-built in the TVs and they come standard. So that's a great question and something that you can look a little bit more deeper on in your own time. All right. My thoughts on Kathy Wood's latest move to position Roku as the sixth largest position in ARK Invest. This is also why I'm bullish on Roku over the coming months. You can also do a little bit more of a deeper dive on that at your own time. Trust me, I could go a lot deeper into these stocks and I do on my own time. But the thing is, we have a lot of different stocks to cover. And I, unfortunately, I don't want this video to be an hour long. Now, the next stock that I'm currently loading up on is PayPal, believe it or not, down 19% in the last month, down 23% in the last three months. And we can kind of see they're actually headed toward a 52 week low, right at $190. You can see them starting to rebound a little bit. Last five years, obviously, the growth has been fantastic. This one I hold in my long term account, not my Robinhood account, because I'm not really doing a swing trade like we are with Roku. By the way, Roku is a great long-term hold as well, but in my opinion, there's great swing uh, trade potential up to $400. PayPal, on the other hand, they are more of a long-term hold for me that I plan on having in my portfolio at least three to five years of the next years, and I think they can average over 20 to 30% growth per year for the next five years. The PE ratio is only 50, which is pretty attractive for something like PayPal. All right, the market cap is a quarter trillion. And in my opinion, they will be a trillion dollar company in the next five to 10 years. So keep that in mind. They also keep acquiring different companies. So if they keep that up, that's some more great thing about PayPal. Now, if we see what analysts have to say about PayPal, on average, there's a 34% upside over the next 12 months to around $280 a share, which is Honestly, a pretty conservative estimate, in my opinion. I think they'll be closer to $350 per share in the next 12 months. If you look at where they've been in the past, you know, they were at around $320 per share. Let's actually look exactly where they're at in the past. So we can actually see, yeah, they were around $300 per share in the past. So in the next 12 months, for them to recover back to their all-time highs, I think it's an extremely likely thing to happen. We have one analyst that's giving a low ball, a 190 in the next 12 months, which I don't believe. And keep in mind, there's like the green one at the very top. You know, anyone can say that. And the, the red one at the very bottom, anyone can say that. The most important one to look at is the 280, the white one, because they take the, all the highs, all the medium, all the low, the average in, um, analyst is the white one that's 280. So out of all these different predictions here, which we'll get into in a second, um, even the bad ones, the lowest one is 190 out of every single analyst, which is extremely unlikely. They average that and the white one is 280. So it should be around a 30% upside over the next 12 months. Now, with that being said, we also have PayPal, extremely good with analysts. We have a bunch of five-star analysts coming in. Basically, all of them are over $260 per share, and they just reiterated all these price targets to sell at um, six days ago. So this is all very recent, very fresh stuff. That's why I like doing some of these busier stocks too. Um, Tattoo Chef, for example, it's a little bit harder to get analyst projections, but something like PayPal, Roku, analysts are and Wall Street are all over these stocks. So to see sell-offs very hard on these two stocks, we have some great things coming for them in the next six to 12 months, in my personal opinion. Now we see the smart score is a nine. Analysts, we went over strong by 280 average price target. Blogger opinions, 94% bullish. Um, hedge funds have increased by a half a million shares last quarter. So if we pull up a calculator and we do half a million shares times $200 per share, that's over $100 million that hedge funds actually increased $100 million on PayPal stock in the last quarter. And you definitely want to see where the big money is putting their money because obviously they know things that we don't. Insider activity, nothing's really going on with that. Tip ranks investor, very positive. 
new sentiment bullish. So there's a lot of good things going on with PayPal, especially if you're a long-term investor and you plan on holding over the next 12 months or more. Now, another stock that's a little bit more short term than the other two is going to be Fubo TV. This is a stock that I've swing trade in the past and made some good money on in the past. I actually have an upcoming buy of around uh, 300, 400 something dollars, actually $500 exactly. But in the, what's interesting about Fubo TV is they're down 25% in the last week. Okay, so in my opinion, this is going to be a swift recovery. However, it, can, it probably won't be that swift. All right, so if we look at the yearly chart and we pull up our little uh, handy dandy ruler here and we start drawing our little lines, we can see for like the last, we'll call it about six months or five months or so, we see Fubo TV following this trend line support. So the support, it's right now it's hitting. We see it dip under the support once before. So don't be shocked if it does go a little bit lower. However, we saw very quick downward movement right here you can see it's like a just a drop right here it's a little bit more casual right here it's a very strong drop as well but every time we see um fubo tv come back all right so in my opinion this is probably going to be around a three month one to three month swing trade depending on how fast we see fubo moving and i want to be selling around 28 29 or 30 dollars per share all right, that'll give us a nice little yield, especially if you're buying under 24. Now, if we pull up what analysts have to say about Fubo TV in the next 12 months, at the very low, we have a $30 per share. Remember, that's our, our personal price target in the next one to three months. The analysts right here are rating it over 12 months. On average, we have a $45 price target, which is an 83% upside, and some analysts have it as high as $60 per share. Now, this is why I enjoy swing trading, you know, great long-term holds. By the way, all these are great long-term holds that we've went over in this video so far, um, because if it doesn't go as planned, and it takes longer than one to three months to go up to $30, $45 per share, if you hold it six months or 12 months, you can easily see an 83% upside on average. That's where the analysts have it. Now we have them reiterating this again. We have a lot of five-star analysts coming in, very strong analysts reiterating it just five days ago. So this is all very fresh information. And this is, ba I think this is actually after their earnings. So they reiterated these price targets after they reported earnings too, which is a great sign. So you see some of them have 60, some of them have 40, 45. I think that this one can easily be sold between 30 and $35 per share. Now we see a smart score of a 10. We have the analysts already saying a strong buy. We went over that. We have bloggers, um, online opinions about a 91%. And what's interesting, we also have hedge fund activity increasing uh, almost um, 62,000 shares last quarter. So that is an interesting thing to note. Hedge funds are, are increasing their positions on Fubo TV. And if we look at some summaries of some articles, we see Fubo TV passes 1 million subscriber uh, mark in Q4 2021, which is excellent. Subscriber and revenue growth are very strong. Q3 2021 earnings um, and the outlook of 2021 were impressive as well. The drop in pricing last week, again, which was 25% drop in the last week, exaggerated Fubo TV is a buy. All right. And this, I can think we can get easily 20, 30% on the swing trade. Fubo TV experienced strong growth in revenues and average revenues per user in the third quarter. The streaming firm needs to per improve on its profitability, but this should happen over time as the platform grows its subscriber base. Impressive platform growth. Despite a, despite a very impressive earnings card for the third quarter, shares of Fubo TV tumbled last week on concerns that the sport's first live TV streaming platform will post continual continual losses for the foreseeable future shares of fubo tv cratered 25 percent that's where we come in and start buying the dip and swing trading it for a pretty pretty nice profit i would say
Guys, trust me, I have so many more stocks that I want to keep you updated with, but this is our end of our time on the video today. Make sure you're subscribed tomorrow because I'm going to be going over three more banger stocks, just like we went over in this video. Banger stocks, I provided you with three stocks to make some money on, so I hope everyone does make some money on them. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion, what I'm personally doing. And if you choose to do your own research after and you think it's a good idea, then more power to you. If you want to join my close friends list where I actually post all my movements. So if I ever buy a stock or sell a stock, it's posted on the close friends list on my Instagram. We actually hit a thousand students a while back and now we're closer to 1200 to 1300. So that's another huge milestone for us. If you ever want to see some student testimonials as well, there's over 400 positive client testimonials now on my page. Check out success number four. And if you go all the way to the right, by the way, this will be the most recent ones. You can actually see the kind of success that people have had. Lemonade call was insane. What's the exit point? Um, first of all, thank you for your continued help. You give such great information out daily. So if you guys are looking for daily information just like that, I made over $860 on lemonade option you suggested to take out. And what else did he say? I'm up on every other option that you suggested also, as well also with every coin. Thank you so much, man. So get on my close friends list. And on top of that, if you check out my flow page, and check out my second Instagram, which is my only other Instagram. It's all about the daily cryptocurrency. So if you want more crypto content, or if you want the crypto close friends list, or you're more into cryptocurrency and you want to see what coins to start buying to get great profit, we've had 300, 400% gainers for many students on many different coins. And that's where the giveaway is posted on this channel, by the way the daily cryptocurrency. So here it is, the daily cryptocurrency, 71,000 followers. Get your information on cryptocurrency there, P content posted every single day. And if you're not on the close friends list there already, what are you doing? That's one of my best places, especially if you're a shorter term trader and you're not as patient with the stock market. This is a great place to see some great information with NFTs as well. I have an NFT training course. It's an hour and a half step by step to teach you how to flip NFTs and everything to look for. Basically everything in my brain downloaded into video format so you can digest it and learn everything there is to know about NFTs. And if you, the good thing is if you ever get stuck, you can also DM me a couple times a week on the cryptocurrency platform and I'll be more than happy to help you out in the DMs. All right, guys, share this video with a friend if you think it will be helpful for them, which I think it will. And also smash a thumbs up on this video. Hit subscribe on YouTube if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.